Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, today we're doing a quick tip, Blender quick tip. Um, and what used to really annoy me when I was like learning is how to get vertices or edges or faces to line up um, in a straight line. Um, so that's what today's quick tip is gonna be. We're gonna show you how to align vertices, faces and um, edges. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a cylinder. I mean, you can you can do pretty much anything you want. I mean, I'll show you. I'll just quickly show you on this. I'm just going to bring this back on into the zeros, just so it's center on the screen there. Okay, so we've got our uh, cylinder. I'm just going to scale it down on the Z. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna okay so here we go right so we've got a cylinder so what if that's number seven what if we wanted to bring all these vertices here all these vertices here in line with the red with x with x axis okay so what we're going to do is we are going to let's go back into number seven and then we're going to do a shift Z because I want the wireframe mode. Okay, then what I'm going to do is um, control, oh no, I'm not going to do X, I'm going to do B. And I'm going to select all these vertices up the top here. Okay, B, select. So hopefully we've got them all. Okay, now if we go back into this mode, Right, so you can see here we've got all these vertices selected. So what I want to do is align all these with this one. So they're all in a straight line here, okay? So what we do is our origin, 3D origin here. I'm just going to click on this vertex here. So as you can see, it's on actually on that vertex, okay? You can actually do it on wherever you like, really. Um, and then at the top here, so we're in Blender 2.8. At the top here, we're going to change the pivot point to 3D cursor. Okay, so now that will be aligned um, to the origin. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've selected all our vertices. We're going to go into Scale S. Now we want to scale it on the Y plane, so we want to bring all these back in. So we're going on the Y plane. So we're going to scale, which is S, Y, and then zero. And there you go, simple as that. So we just brought them all into alignment. Um, you can do this also on a, you can do this on any shape really. Um, I mean, if we take like a plane. Okay, let's just move it on over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a few ring cuts, okay? And then a few more on the opposite plane. Okay, um, we'll just change this back to median point because that's what our original. If we just go into here, we're just going to move a few about. Okay, so as you can see, they're all over the place. Um, and say, this point I mean even if you wanted to say this one here is the correct one okay so the origin we want over here so we my mouse is to the original 2.79 which is the right click is select so obviously if you're still on the same then you need to press the left mouse button to bring it on over okay so we brought it on over there and I would presume if you've got the left mouse button active then you'll need to press the right mouse button. Um, so we're going to align it with this one, okay? So we've selected this vertice, as you can see it's on the vertice there. We're going to change the pivot point to 3D. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to select all these other outer edge ones. Okay, and then we're going to scale again, but this time it's on the Z axis. So we're going to scale so S, 
Z zero. So that's brought them in line um, on the horizontal there. Um, now if we wanted to bring all these back into line, then we just select these ones look like they're already in, in line. So what we can do, we just leave all the ones selected. So we go S, X this time because we're bringing them on that on that plane and again zero. So it brings them all back in alignment. And that's that's pretty much it. That is today's um, quick tip. It's really simple but effective. Um, obviously, you, you can do these. You can do that on that one, and then just scale on the Y plane zero, so it brings it back in line. You can do it on whatever you want, really. Um, yeah, really simple tutorial, but a real bit of a winner for me when I was like first learning. Um, blender this would always be a pain for me so get one by one and trying to align it um, but yeah all this time you didn't have to and then just change the pivot point back to medium point um, otherwise it, it will just get all annoyed with it because it won't be doing stuff that you want it to do <laughs> uh, yeah so just change that back um, yeah, so anyway, um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, if you've uh, benefited from it, benefited from it. Uh, drop a comment if you've got any comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.